Sports Sports Squadron, and Command Ceremony. Today we will bid farewell to Lieutenant Colonel Catherine Coos and welcome a new leader, Major Kaylee Stilwell. Our ceremony today is a celebration of both continuity and change, continuity in the form of military traditions whose roots reach back through times to the legion of ancient Rome, to the passing of sickness that once symbolized the transfer of change from one to another. Continuity and change as this great squadron says farewell to an honored leader and welcomes her successor through a ceremony that differs only in style, not substance, from those of the Romans. Please stand for the arrival of the official party and remain standing for the singing of the national anthem by Captain Ashley Diaz and invocation given by Jenna Carson.
As she leads the squadron, I pray that strength will accompany her day by day and that the burdens of command will seem light. May those under her command exercise wisdom in following her leadership and aligning with her vision. And I pray for her family and for their strength and well-being. And finally, I ask for blessings upon all of the individuals in this squadron, spiritually, mentally, and physically. May all of us who have the privilege of wearing this uniform come together in our mission to support and defend our nation. And may we follow our leaders with integrity and respect, lift one another in service, and constantly partner to do what is right in the world. And this is my humble prayer with gratitude. Amen. Thank you, Keisha Arngard, Captain Diaz, and Chaplain Carson. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. We would like to introduce our distinguished guests joining us today, starting with our official party. The presiding officer, the commander, 81st Union Support Group, Colonel Chad Gamahar. The outgoing commander, Lieutenant Colonel Catherine Coots, accompanied by her spouse, Lieutenant Colonel Nick Coots, and their children, Parker, Benjamin, and Penelope. Woo! The incoming commander, Major Kaylee Stillwell, accompanied by her spouse, Wayne, and their sons, Cody and Bennett. Woo! And the guy on there, the first sergeant, 81st Force Support Squadron, Master Sergeant Jessica Helms. Distinguished visitors attending today are the Commander, 81st Training Group, Lieutenant Colonel James Roberts, and the Acting Senior Enlisted Leader, CMS Sergeant Michelle Lamont. <laughs> and representing the Senior Enlisted Leader, 81st Mission Support Group, CMS Sergeant Carmisha Layton. <laughs> the Commander, Full Third Mission Support Group, Lieutenant Colonel Sorry, Lieutenant Colonel Lisa Brown. <laughs> a special welcome is also extended to our virtual audience, senior leaders, chiefs, first sergeants, community partners, and especially the members of the 81st Force Support Section. Thank you for joining us for today's momentous occasion. It is my pleasure to welcome Colonel Gamahart for remarks. mess with your microphone here. Apologize, I'm a little tall. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, we're gonna go with that. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, welcome to the official start of the 81st Training Wing Hockey Line Change of Squadron Commanders. For those that watched hockey last night, good game, game seven, Stanley Cup. Uh, but we have three on, on three on the MSG side and three on the TRG. Not that we're competing, but uh, it's gonna be a long week, but it's like a, a hockey line change. We start today with Team Coots. I'd like to begin by thanking our distinguished visitors in attendance today, Colonel Roberts, the TRG team, Cedar Lamont, of course, Colonel Brielle in the, in the uh, 403rd side of the house, our community leaders, squadron commanders, SEOs, chiefs, first sergeants, uh, and of course our gladiators, uh, members of the 81st Force Support Squadron. There you go. Uh, again, thank you for attending this morning. I'd like to recognize Tech Sergeant Lynch and Lipscomb for putting this event together. Uh, these events take tremendous effort, and your work does not go unnoticed. I also want to thank Captain Diaz for singing the National Anthem, the Keesler Honor Guard, and Chad Carson for a wonderful invocation. To the Coots family, from he Coots, to the girl Coots, uh, Parker, Benjamin, uh, Benjamin uh, thanks for attending this morning. Uh, without your support, I know Katie could have accomplished the fantastic things that she's done. It's going to be a long day, and somewhat bittersweet, I'm sure. Uh, there is truly not a family that is more connected to all things Kiesler than the Kutzer family. So, to the Stillwell family, uh, <laughs> welcome Wayne, uh, Cody, and Bennett. Thanks for attending this morning. Uh, we look forward to welcoming you to the MSG and Kiesler family. So, I guess we should begin. Crown Kutz, the day is actually here. How fast time has truly flown by. As I was preparing my notes for today, I read through your declaration, OPDs, all of the war inputs, all of them. Uh, just to get my arms around the number of initiatives that you have completed, uh, saw through, or began while leading the 81st Force Support Squadron, 
I won't get to the full long list. I'm going to keep to time. We talked a little bit about that. Uh, but I want to highlight just a few. But to fully appreciate them, I need to provide some context. Kisa Air Force Base two years ago was just coming out of COVID. We had a significant number of homes that were vacant because of the MRP program, long waiting lists of housing, some cost challenges with labor increases that impact FSS operations and our APHES team. But like many places coming out of that period, I, I would argue we were missing a rich sense of community that we once had. Our morale, welfare, and recreation fund that began to dry up uh, was potentially impacting the quality of life for the entire installation. In only a way that Katie can, she brought her team together over the last two years. She dug in, she built a strategic plan and empowered her team. It took some difficult decisions, prioritization, process improvements, accountability, and advocacy to make the necessary changes. And she made tremendous improvements to processes. She filled those critical positions with well-qualified candidates. She completed renovations of numerous facilities, revitalized the Back Bay Event Center, pretty amazing, frankly, look at it, improved the flagship professional development program at Dragon University, and turned around the MWR fund into its most profitable to date. Wow. Katie, the lasting impacts you have instilled across Keesler through the projects you and your team completed has truly set Keesler as the premier training base in the Air Force and right on target for installation excellence. But if I ask you personally, what are you most proud of? I'm sure you would tell me it's the gladiator culture that you established in the past few years. You have been a truly brave leader, willing to be bold, to listen to your enemy, to have the hard conversations, and above all else, you always took the initiative to care. You care for your profession, you care for your airmen, and you care for all those around you. The culture of excellence that you have established led to numerous major command awards and the best in Air Force development fund. Culture starts from the leader. And I can say without a shadow of a doubt that the gladiator culture of excellence that you have established in the Force Support Squadron is here to stay. And I can say confidently, the missing feeling of community at Keesler is back. You and your Gladiator team were a major part of that. On behalf of all of us, thank you. Now, as your time at Keesler comes to a close, I'm excited for you and the family on your next adventure to Cramstein. The keys to success that you learned here will enable you to have the same lasting effects there. Katie, you are a fantastic officer and even better human. You will be missed, Katie, but I cannot think of a better officer to take over than Major Kayla Stillwell. Safe travels. You are still the number one coot, so I'm key sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Major Kayla Stillwell, as you can tell, you are stepping up to command a squadron as a solid foundation of culture. Welcome to the MSG family. In your former position as the 47th Force Support Squadron Commander at Laughlin, you made incredible strides and achieved considerable success. I am confident that you are the right person to lead our 81st Force Support Squadron. Our entire mission support group is focused on providing customer service for all of Team Keesler. The FSS is key to achieving the Wings mission to train, develop, and inspire warfighters. The 81st Dragon breathes fire. Focused training, installation excellence, ready Airmen and Empowered Airmen. We must be brave in our efforts to continue Keesler's tradition of being a premier technical training installation at AETC. And I'll, begin, I'll finish where I begin. To the Stillwell family, I look forward to working with you the next couple of months. Uh, before I depart, welcome again. Gladiators are in solid hands. Let's get this next going. Thank you. Thank you, Colonel Kamar. At this time, Lieutenant Colonel Kuz will receive a meritorious service medal. Please stand for the presentation of this decoration. Publish your order. Attention to orders. Citation to accompany the award of the meritorious service medal, second OC cluster to Lieutenant Colonel Catherine C. Kuz for her material service from 19 June 2022 to 25 June 2024. Colonel Kuz distinguished herself in the performance of outstanding service to the United States as commander. 81st Force Support Squadron, 81st Mission Support Group, 81st Training Wing, Keesler Air Force Base, Mississippi. During this period, she led 
801 personnel directly hired from headquarters policies in the Air Force, two wings and 24 squadrons. She managed a $51 million budget, secured resources for a fitness center renovation, event center transformation, and a new center outdoor recreation venue. Additionally, her includes repair to base around welfare and recreation climb, establishing the first profitable budget with a portfolio value of $5.7 million, fostering over $1 million in leadership. Her team earned five ATC A1 annual award wins, the Department of the Air Force Force Vets Force Development Flight, a unit effectiveness inspection and vertical inspection overall effective rating, earning five superior performance and two match home best practices. The singular distinctive accomplishments of Lieutenant Colonel Coots reflects great credit on herself in the United States Air Force. It's magic. You can overcome the impossible. 
or at least laugh your way through, did that just happen? We have those every day at FSS. And since FSS is large, I'm blessed to have an extended command team that includes a deputy and an operations officer. So my first command team, Ryan Crossbury, um, Jacob Fanisteel, Senior Master of Monica Brown, and Master Sergeant Jimmy Atwater. It's with this team that the Gladiator mascot and spirit, spirit was born and continues to build strong today. Senior Brown and Master Sergeant Atwater were two individuals who remain very important people in my life. They were my closest advisors early in my command, and we pulled each other despite life's career challenges and career and life challenges that came our way. In my second year, our Fab Five was simply magic. So my new command team is comprised of Hope Holden, Major Select Tasia Davis, Master Sergeant Jessica Helton, and Chief Master Sergeant Tiffany Brown. This team didn't walk, we sprinted, and we got a lot done using our various strengths. Serving with you ladies has been a true highlight, and I'm so impressed by each one of you. I hope that we build the relationship that really lasts a lifetime. To my honorary commander, Sawyer Walters and Dr. Nail, thank you for being here today. Man, I get the honorary commander lottery, 100%. Thank you for being awesome community partners. To my CSS, Ms. Christina and Ms. D, you ladies have been amazing and have kept me on track. If you didn't know, next week on 2nd July, Ms. D celebrates 50 years of federal civilian service. And the FSS Fly Chiefs, who I call the Executive Board, I've enjoyed getting to know each one of you, and I'm so grateful for hard work and development you pour into your people every day. To the MSG Squadron Commanders, Nick, Sean, Andrea, Brad, and Kyle. Now, if any of you in the room claim these individuals as your leaders, let me tell you, they are some of the best humans that I know. They work so hard to fight for your teams and support the mission. And I know we're old, but let me tell you, they're actually pretty cool people and really fun to be around. I really much enjoy to every Friday getting together for breakfast at Bowling, where um, we saw really big challenges and you looked at my spirits. But I also have to give a shout out to the TRG commanders as well. Chris, Liza, CJ, Neff, Jen, and sure, I guess, thank you too. <laughs> uh, we all shared several cold beverages together and I really enjoyed our friendship. If you've been in the military community, your family's tribe is just as important as your work tribe. For us, we had a couple of families that we became very close with, to the Thomases, the Haradas, the Brocklers, the Wellers, and of course our very best friends, Chris and Aaron Dower. Thanks for the many drive-by bonfires to include the unauthorized ones. Um, you and your families are very special to us. To my family. My parents have inspired our family's dedication to service. My dad is my biggest fan, and my mom would drop everything to come to Biloxi to help whenever we needed. Same goes for my in-laws, Dave and Joanne. Thank you for the frequent visits and giving Nick and I an actual date night once in a while. If you know me, that I'm the oldest of four siblings, and all four of us, to include our significant others, are currently serving on active duty. Brian, Kristen, and Michael, and Lindsay and Emily, I'm so proud of you, and proud to serve this country with you. To my fun and crazy tiny humans, Parker, Ben, and Penny, I love you guys so much. You're the definition of military kids. Resilient, friendly, and ready to do just about anything, to include getting on an airplane later today to head to Germany. <laughs> to my husband, Nick, I love this wild adventure we're on together. People thought we were crazy, as dual commanders, <laughs> um, but we came out stronger than ever. I love you so much, and I can't wait for a new chapter ahead. And so much love to all our dual couples in my crowd, too. So finally, to Lieutenant Colonel Select, Haley Stilwell. It's no secret that I love this squadron, and I know you're gonna love this squadron, too. And if there's one person I could pick to hand this guy on to, it's you. You're everyone's to include my first pick, and I'm so glad you said yes to this job. Major Stowell is already a graduated FSS commander, which is a Keesler first and what Keesler truly deserves. And we're very fortunate to have a confident and proven leader who is ready to take the squadron to the next level. I wish you much success. In closing, I leave you with a quote with uh, our movie's namesake, The Gladiator. The iconic leader Maximus says, what we do in life echoes in eternity. Gladiators in Keesler Air Force Base, we're part of something so much bigger than ourselves. We have the great privilege to defend our country and our freedom. What we are doing will echo in eternity. And it's been an honor to serve with you. Thank you. God bless.
What was the order? Attention to the orders. Department of the Department of the Air Force, 81st Mission Support Group, Kisa Air Force Base, Mississippi. Special Order Number FM 24-007, dated 25 June 2024, under the provisions of the Air Force Instructions 51-509, and effective 25 June 2024. Lieutenant Colonel Captain C. Coots relinquishes command of the 81st Force Support Squadron, Kisa Air Force Base, Mississippi, and effective 25 June 2024. Major Kaylee M. Silva assumes command of the 81st Force Force Squadron, Kisa Air Force Base in the city. Signed by Chad Mahart, Colonel, United States Air Force Commander, 81st Mission Support Group. Sir, sir. Sir, Colonel Lincoln's command. Sir, Thank you. 